Hello dear viewers, welcome back to Sai Bruces. So today in this video, we'll be talking about the rescue session which you can find inside the POS module of Odoo 70. Just imagine you're making orders in your POS. Unexpectedly, the system closes or your internets get cut off. What happens? Obviously, we lose our data, right? So what if I say this rescue session is going to save you from data loss? Yes, it does. What happens is that it starts a new session by taking the you know, orders which are in progress from the interrupted session, okay, which also prevents data loss. So let's see how it works. Let's move on to the module and see that. So now let's see how the rescue session in point of sale of Odoo 17 works. Well, I'm opening POS. So here's the POS. And the first thing which you have to do is you have to open a session. So currently we have two sessions, which is shop and restaurant. So I'm going to open this shop. Okay, so click on open register. And this session has been started. Now, once you open the session, what you have to do is you have to put the opening cache. So here, the opening cache will be there. If you have any kind of changes, you can do that. And opening notes can be provided here. Once it's done, click on open session. So I'm going to make an order. Okay, so let's put this back. And I'm going to make an order. Let the product be customizable desk. Okay, now before moving on to the payment, I'm going to turn off the internet. So here it is. I'm turning off the internet. Okay. Now I'm going to continue with the payment. Okay. I'm choosing bank and I'm validating. So you can see such a message will come which shows connection lost. So that is you can only continue with limited functionality because the connection is uh, not there. And until you your connection is re-established, you can only, uh, you know, perform or operate with limited functionality. So once it's done, you can click on continue and I'm going to make one more order. So let the product be conference chair, doing the payment, choose the payment method, validate and that's done. Now here you can see the count is two because I've made two orders offline. Okay. If you want to see the change of the count means I'll make one more order. So here's the product, doing the payment, choosing this and validating it. You can see this has turned out to be three. Now let's re-establish the connection. Okay, I'm turning on the internet. Okay, so once you turn on the internet, what you have to do is you have to click on this icon over here and then synchronize your data. So click on that and you can see you back online and I'm just closing the register over here and I'll show you how it's done. Now while closing the register, you have to put the counted cash. So I'm putting the counted cash as 2500. And I'm closing the register. Okay. So let's see how it's reflected in the orders section. So that's done. Now we've closed the session. And now, now let's go to orders. There you have orders. Open that. And here you can see the three orders which we made right now. Once the internet was gone. Okay. So all those three are rescued. Okay. All those three orders are rescued. And you can see the status and all. So this was done while the internet was interrupted. Okay, so you can easily synchronize the data and your session will be rescued. So that's the rescue session. Now let's see what happens if we don't synchronize the data. So going back to dashboard and I'm opening the session. Okay, so let's do the same thing. The only difference which we are making is that we are not going to synchronize the data. I'm going to open the session here. Okay, so once it's done, choose the product. And I'm just turning off the internet. Turn off. Okay, so the product is chosen. Payment is going to be done. So this is the payment method which I've chosen. And then you can validate it. So the connection loss message has come. Continue with limited functionalities. You can see one here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the register. Okay, register closing is done. And once the register is closed, then we'll open what, I mean, we'll turn on the Wi-Fi. So close register. Let's turn on the Wi-Fi. I've not yet synchronized the data. Okay, so you can go back to new order from there. I'm just clicking on close the register. Add the counted cache. So let it be 
2000 close the register okay so we've made an order once the internet was off okay we didn't synchronize the data now let's see whether that will be rescued okay let's go to orders clicking on orders and yes that has been rescued okay so this is the rescue session even if you don't synchronize the data once the that is if you forget to synchronize the data once the internet is gone again when the internet is back or reestablished this data will be rescued so that's how the rescue session can save you from data loss i hope it's clear for you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video